Hi there. My name is Joe Sable and I'm a member of the California Rare Fruit Growers and our little chapter has a uh, project going with high school students teaching them how to graft using a cleft graft. Grafting apples to apples. So a very simple cleft graft. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first thing you got to do is of course have a root stock. So we buy about 2,000 apple roots every year from nurseries in Oregon and they come bare root and so we plant them in a one gallon can. So step one in our process is to have the students plant the root in a nice one gallon can. So it's got some st st stable, they don't have to hold on to it. The next thing we're going to do is take the top off of that root stock with a nice flat cut. We don't cut it at an angle, we cut it a flat cut just like that. The next thing we're going to do is pick up our sharp knife, very sharp grafting knife, and we're going to split that root stock right down the center. That's what it's called a cleft graft. So some of the root stock's pretty hard, hard to pound this knife into, so we have a lot of hammers with us, little hammers, and we hammer that that knife into the rootstock, nice and gentle, and we like to drive it down until it's about twice as deep as the knife is wide. So that's about an inch deep. The blade is about a half inch, so we drive it down until it's about twice as deep as the uh, as the knife is wide. And we take the knife out carefully. Don't hold on here. Or lift up on there and cut yourself. Get your fingers down here. Pull the knife out. Pinch that back together again. You're finished with the root for a minute. So then we need some cyan wood. So we collect our cyan wood in the winter time. We collect our cyan wood. We collect our cyan wood in the winter time when it's dormant and there are no leaves on it. And each student then will get a piece of cyan wood. We give them about three buds on their cyan wood. So we cut off a little tiny piece of apple cyan wood. That's last year's growth, and it probably has three buds on it. We don't worry about the bottom bud because we're going to probably take it off when we shave it in order to fit it inside that split. So watch how we do it. For the high school students, we make them take the blade and turn it away from them. So they're going to be cutting away from their body, holding on tight to their knife. They're going to pull the knife across their body and make a nice slice right across the bottom of that cut. What we're trying to do is cut off the bark and the wood and make it about an inch long right here. We do the same thing on the other side. We take our knife and we draw the knife across our stomach, hang on to the knife sharp, hang on to this sharp knife, hang on and keep whittling that until you're about halfway through on both sides. When you're halfway through on both sides, what you have is a screwdriver. So look carefully. We have a flat screwdriver, a flat screwdriver. Not to a point, but much like a screwdriver. So now we look at the edge of our little screwdriver. We turn it around a little bit look at the edge and one side of my little screwdriver has brown bark going all the way down to my fingernail. So it's very fat. A lot of bark. On the other side, I'm going to turn it over. Look on the other side. That's the thin side. So we have a fat side and a thin side. The fat side is the side I want to watch when I put this into the root stock. So watch how I do that. I want to look at it as I push it in there. So I'm going to open up this root stock with my knife and put this scion in so that I can look at that fat bark touching the bark of the root stock. I push it down and I push it down and pretty soon it's really tight on my side where the bark touches the bark of both the top and the bottom. So I'm going to show that to you now because this is very important. This is the most important thing we're going to do today is line up the bark of the scion and the bark of the rootstock so they match perfectly, smooth, no air gap. That means the cambium right underneath the bark is going to touch the cambium of the scion and these two guys are going to grow together nice. So if this fits perfectly on one side, that's all we need. We don't try to match up both sides. We don't put it in the middle. We put it on the outside where the bark touches the bark. Once we've got that and we look at it, then we give them approval to have a little piece of green tape. And the little piece of green tape then is our band-aid. We're going to wrap this up so that no air can get in. Watch how I wrap it. We're going to wrap it and wrap it and wrap it all the way to the top. We don't wrap the cyan, only wrap the root. So I'm wrapping it really tight. Don't let go of it. Hang on tight. And you're making that as tight as you possibly can. And when you get near the end, then you tie it. Here's how we tie it. We have a little hitch, so we reach underneath the last wrap and grab the tail and we pull that tail through that last wrap up and nice and snug. Okay, now we have two buds here and a top. Two buds are going to grow and be our graft, but before we leave this and water it, we want to put some goop on it. 
we call this goop, but it's really tree seal. Tree seal is a black tar-like substance. We're going to cover everywhere we cut. Everywhere there's a wound on this tree, we're going to cover it with this black tar and not get this black tar on our clothes or on uh, anything except the cut where we made our cut. Then we're going to water our tree. We're going to label it, put a nice label on it so we know what variety it was. And we're going to water this puppy and it's going to grow. These two buds are going to shoot out of here and make a tree. In a couple of months, the tree is going to look like, very much like this, where we had the graft here and two buds. One bud going to grow and be a tree. One's going to grow and be a tree here. So the students, if they want to do, they let one tree grow up the time become their tree, or they can leave two here and cut this one off maybe next year and graft a second variety on their tree. Isn't that fun? It's called a cleft graft, and it works very well on apples. We do this during the month of February and March, and they grow. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe Sable with the California Rare Fruit Growers. Have a great day. Eat more apples.